You know, we don't get a lot of boxers back here. So what does it say about you that the UFC are giving you the star treatment? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, look, I just want to thank Dana White for having me here. And I want to thank Hollerhead Whiskey as well for coming on board. Um, you get, you get, you get, oh, it's still working. Oh, so yeah. how did that all start to come together? When did you start hearing from them? And, and you know, are you kind of surprised by the buzz you're generating already? Yeah, well, I met, I met Dana White through Tom Loeffler. Um, I went to the UFC, I went to the PI, um, I met Dana. Um, that was actually before my first fight, I think. Or was it, maybe it was for my second fight, but yeah, it's, it's unbelievable just being here, uh, just having Dana White on board, the buzz, it's, it's crazy, it's unbelievable. Maybe Dana's seeing another Irish guy. Yeah, maybe, I think he loves <laughs> the Irish, yeah. I think that's what it is. Did you, uh, did you have training with Tony Ferguson when he was down there with uh, Freddie Roach? Yeah, yeah, I trained with Tony a lot, yeah. Me oh, yeah. and Tony run together, I wrestled with Tony. Uh, yeah, we've done a lot of stuff together, yeah, me and Tony. I can imagine him being a quirky guy to work out with. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, training with Tony. I never wrestled before in my life, and I actually wrestled with Tony Ferguson for the first time. How uh, did that go for you? Yeah, crazy. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, crazy experience, yeah. What's it like being seeing here, seeing the UFC show? I mean, I don't know if you've ever made something you ever want to get into, but see, certainly seeing the bright lights and seeing where your career could go, what's it been like, this experience? Yeah, the UFC is definitely something I've always been interested in. Uh, I always watched it back home in Ireland, and just being here and seeing all the lights and actually seeing it in real life, it's crazy. It's a feeling. I just, I'd love to get on a stage like this myself. Yeah. What, uh, how do you rate Tony's boxing? Tony's boxing is good. Tony's boxing is very good. He hits very hard. Um, I was actually surprised when I first met Tony. Like, his boxing is very good, to be fair. It's funny, because he's so, like, out there in the cage, right? You don't see, like, really traditional boxing from him, do you? So. No, but Tony has a lot of power. He hits very hard. How do you see the fight going tonight? I want Tony to win. I, I just hope... I hope he does it. I hope if Tony wins, he's back on top. Yeah. He's back in the game, and, yeah, I really hope Tony wins. Um, Michael Chandler is a very tough opponent, but I think, I think Tony can pull it off. I think he's back. I trained with him a couple of weeks ago, and he was telling me he feels like he's back to himself. He's feeling good, so hopefully he can do it. Now, you come from the same country as a guy called Conor McGregor, obviously, yeah. and I'm sure you, know, you being here is going to draw some comparisons there. Uh, if you could pick a fight for him when he comes back to the UFC, who would it be? Try and get your boy Tony yeah. paid, if you say. Yeah, yeah, he could fight Tony. Yeah, yeah. If Tony wins tonight, maybe they could fight. But it just all depends on what weight McGregor's going to fight. I know he's like... He's about 200 pounds now at the moment. Uh, yeah, but him and Tony would be a good fight, yeah. You been down to the forge yet? Uh, no, no, I haven't, no. No, not yet. Good. I yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Has Tony been trying to uh, convince you to transition over to MMA at all? Uh, I don't think so. I think he likes the idea of me boxing, but definitely if I ever was going to transition, I would train with Tony. So obviously people are going to ask, you know, why are you here at the UFC? What's There's got to be something that the UFC fans should know about you? Why, do, why should they watch you? Just because I'm the next big thing to come out of Ireland in boxing. I'm going to be the Conor McGregor of boxing. Thank you. I'm curious because Tony is pretty well known among MMA circles for, um, let's say, unusual training methods. Uh, he, he does some quirky things out there. Yeah. And I wonder, have you seen an example of any of these type of things? Yeah, definitely. Um, me and Tony, when we go running, he brings all these like drills into it, like American football drills, all these kind of stuff. Um, and any time I did go running with Tony, it was like the middle of the night. Like Tony shows up to my house at like 12, 12 o'clock at night and we just go running. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of unusual training, but it's good. I, I like it. It's fun. It makes things fun, and I enjoy it. What's the latest he showed up and said, hey, let's go on a run? Yeah, it was one night, actually, he texted me. I think it was like 11.30, 12 at night, and he was just like, let's go. He just texted me, let's go. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> How long are you running at, at 12 o'clock at night? Uh, I think we trained for like three hours, three, four hours, yeah. Oh, you got back at like 4 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, yeah. What's like the wildest sort of just like... I don't know, see, like, his tra training method that you've seen him do outside of that? Uh, there's a lot of, like, mental stuff he does. Just, like, just, there's a lot of drills that I find hard to do that I just see him just, like, even his warm-up. Before we start training, he warms up for, like, an hour. And I'm already, like, sweating, and he's just getting started. Yeah, it's crazy. Thank you, man. Thank you. You've got 2 0 professional record. How many amateur fights do you have in you? Because it's kind of odd to see you already headlining a... A big event that's going to be on paper, uh, Fight Pass. Yeah, I had 120 amateur fights. I won six national titles. I won a European gold medal. 
Um, yeah, I've had a lot of experience as an amateur. Yeah. When did you start? If you got 120 fights, you, you yeah, look like you're, I, very, you're yeah, barely no, old enough to I'm train. 21, I'm 21. But um, yeah, I had my first amateur fight when I was 11, but I started boxing when I was six. Wow. So I, I've been fighting since I was 11 all the way up, yeah. So what, when you've had that much experience, even though you are still very young in your, your career, are you gonna, is there gonna be extra pressure coming on this? Or are you, are you still having fun when, when, when the, that big event comes? Are you gonna be having fun or are there gonna be some nerves knowing that you're, you're carrying the weight of that event? Um, there's a small bit of nerves, but at the end of the day, I've been, like I've had 120 amateur fights. I've, I'm two and all as a pro, I've only fought for, as a pro I've only fought for 70 seconds or something like that, but <laughs> yeah, no, there's, I'm still having fun, I'm enjoying it. I love this, this is what I've always wanted to do and now I'm here. Is, is your, the fact that you do have two wins and both are KOs, is that something that Dana kind of commented on, your skill set? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think Dana likes, he likes to see the knockouts, he likes to see the Irish doing well, and I think next week I'm going for another first round knockout, hopefully. And then last thing for me, you know, what's, uh, you, you mentioned working with Tony and, and, and Freddie, but what's it like working with Freddie Roach? Freddie Roach is the best coach in the world, unbelievable. I've been with Freddie for the last year and a half, and it's just unbelievable. Training the wild card, you don't know who's gonna walk in the door. Just I'm getting world class sparring. It's, it's the best gym in the world. It's the best place for me to be anyway. Even the last year and a half, I've improved so much. And just even since my last fight, I think next week we'll see a big improvement again. Very cool. Thank you for coming out of here and Thank uh, you. letting us see you. Thanks very much. Just quickly, I, I feel like we need to revisit the 120 fights at age 21 thing. Like, yeah. how? what was the pace that you were fighting these fights at? Like, three yeah. a month, four a month? Like, yeah, I, I used to fight a lot as an amateur, yeah. We used to, like, when I fought for the European gold medal, I fought four fights in five days. Oh. So I was like, I had to fight Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had Thursday off, and I fought the final on Friday. This, you might not know the answer, but, like, what, if, if you do, what's the most fights you've had in one month? Uh, one month, probably probably five fights, maybe five or six fights. Maybe. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well done, man. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Kyle, I'm over here. Uh, I saw you were at Madison Square Garden the other day. You caught a Rangers game. How would you like to fight at such a historical place for boxing such as MSG? Yeah, I'd love to fight in MSG. Just being there the other night for Katie Taylor and just seeing all the Irish fans showed up, um, I would love it. It was unbelievable, like the feeling of the crowd, everything. I would, I would definitely love to fight in Madison Square Garden. And I saw the other day or a couple of weeks ago you were with Deontay Wilder. Did he give you any advice for your career moving forward or what can you say about him? Yeah, Deontay Wilder is actually planning on coming to my fight next week. Uh, we were playing golf together and he actually texted me. Well, his, actually, his wife texted me and uh, they wanted to come to my fight. So I think we sorted them out with tickets and stuff. So he will be there next Thursday. I saw you said you were the Irish Tiger Woods. And then finally, uh, <laughs> do you have any rooting interests or predictions for the main event tonight? We got Oliveira taking on Gaethje. Yeah, I, I like Gaethje. I think I can see Gaethje winning it just, he's very tough and uh, I don't know. The only way I can see Oliveira winning maybe is submission. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Thank you. Cal, yeah, you, you've, I mean, you've obviously made some lofty comparisons. You know, you could want to be the next Conor McGregor, the next Tiger Woods, uh, obviously the next yourself. But can you do that just from fighting? Like, can, do you have to be a, a name outside? Do you have to do things outside the, the ring to, to gather, gather that kind of attention? Or could you just do it through your fighting? I think based on just my fighting, um, just when people see what I can do inside the ring, just see how much experience I have. Like, I'm only 21. And when people see what I'm doing already, um, I think fighting would be enough, but obviously I like to do stuff outside the ring, like social media, stuff like that is fun, but yeah, I'd say just for my fighting, I can do a lot. Thank you. That it? Thanks very much. Thank you.